The Maine coast is pretty incredible. It's a dream paradise for many boaters who are here recreationally, but it's also a very rich fishing ground and a fantastic place to farm in aquaculture. This project is bringing together partners and stakeholders concerned about marine debris and help educate boaters on how to be better stewards and more responsible about their potential contribution to marine debris in the Gulf of Maine. Marine debris is essentially trash that's in our waterways. Plastics and foams, food packaging, household products, clothing, children's toys, dog toys. A lot of potty balloons and always picking up five gallon buckets and everything else that I find floating. Buoys, lobster traps, plastic bottles, Gatorade bottles, a lot of them, duck foam, lots of duck foam. Those marine debris issues impact our environment, our economy. We know that marine debris is a significant issue for all kinds of wildlife species, but last year we found countless birds entangled in the traps. We find pieces of plastic in their food. We've also had birds die from ingesting plastic. Some of these small island communities don't have landfills, so it needs to be hauled offshore. So it's expensive, it's complicated. Also, if the marine debris is sourced from either a fisherman or a sea farm, there's economic impact to that person's livelihood. There was one time that I was fishing and I was hauling up one of my ends and it wasn't attached, so it, clearly somebody had just run over it right before I had gotten to it. A trap to have it built would be anywhere from 120 to 220. Four coils of rope, almost $900. 20 trap trawl, 3,500 to $4,000. There are so many types of marine debris, therefore there are many different sources of marine debris. But in this project, we're highlighting what can you as an individual do to make a difference. And in the recreational boating community, there are things we can do to make a difference. We can be more mindful of securing loose items understand the configuration of lobster gear in Maine, how to best navigate around those different configurations, to think about your own vessel and where your potential hazard points might be. If there is a situation where you do get snagged, how to best deal with that. We're all in this together. We all love Maine waters and we all have a role in preventing and cleaning up marine debris.